What's going on everybody, my name is Hydros and welcome back to some more My Hero Academia Ultra Impact and today we have some exciting news about the potential global version incoming for My Hero Academia Ultra Impact and that's going to be very exciting, we have some stuff to go over here in today's video but before we do, make sure you guys go down there, click that red subscribe button if you haven't already also click that bell, turn on all notifications that we miss out on any future videos also, click that like button, does show your support for the video, helps me out a lot. Also, comment down below, hashtag global MHA, if you are excited for the global version of My Hero Academia Ultra Impact. Also, shout out to PS360 HD2 for also posting this as well, otherwise I wouldn't have seen it, so shout out to him, go drop him a follow, link down below to his tweet. So, potential My Hero Academia Ultra Impact English version incoming, Bandai Namco new trademark, Ultra Rumble. Now, at first glance, you know, Ultra Rumble, that... You know, Ultra Impact, Ultra Rumble kind of sounds similar. And, you know, again, most games like, you know, they didn't do this for Dokkan. They didn't do it for Legends. They didn't. They don't usually do this for a lot of games. But, you know, there have been instances where they do change the names of games from the JP to the global version. So, I mean, right now, you know, it is up in the air. Take it with a grain of salt that the name is Ultra Rumble. Uh, but if it is the global version and they are calling it My Hero Academia Ultra Rumble, that sounds... I mean, it sounds all right. It's, it, I think Ultra Impact is a way better name. Uh, but if this is going to be the English version's name, hey, it is what it is, right? Going to have to rebrand, man. I don't even know. <laughs> no, I'm actually going to stay Hydra's Impact. But if they are changing the name, that's, you know, kind of weird. It's not unheard of, but it is very weird to see them just changing the name if it is going to be the case. So let's go ahead and check out the uh, the tweet here from the trademark bot and kind of see what that says. Also, take it with a grain of salt. It is translated by Google, so just that. They have the business application number, trademark image, which is this right here, and then the applicant who is Bandai Namco Entertainment Inc. Filing date, April 28th, 2021. So that was actually a while ago when they filed it. I guess it's still maybe pending. We'll also take a look at the trademark database here in a second. So category nine, this is what throws you off a little bit because they don't necessarily list out the correct categories, but the category classifications are actually very big. And we'll go ahead and check that out here in a second. Uh, but you, again, it says swimming air, earplugs. And that's like, wait, wait a minute. What? That can't be ultra impact. Uh, that can't be the global version. But again, class nine and class 41 has a lot of different things inside of it that encompasses a lot of different things. So let's go ahead and take a look at that in a minute. But again, here we go. Ultra Inter Ultra Rumble, Ultra Impact. Uh, I don't know. What is? What do you guys like better? I personally like the name Ultra Impact a lot more. I don't know. Just short, sweet. Ultra Rumble. I mean, it sounds like I'm playing Pokemon Rumble at that point. <laughs> like, But it's not really Pokemon Rumble. It's... Uh, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about the name. I'm not opposed to Ultra Rumble. Uh, but it's not really... I don't know. Ultra Impact just sounds a lot better. I mean, we have, you know, Honkai Impact. We have uh genshin impact and stuff like that i mean this just sounds cool and ultra impact sounds a lot better to me i guess that's maybe i'm a little bit biased because i've played ultra impact jp version for so long uh but again it's very weird that they would change the name i i don't know personally if this is ultra impacts global version uh again this might not even be related to my hero academia ultra impact whatsoever but again, we'll take a look at the trademarks here. We do have the Ultra Rumble trademark here. As you can see, a lot of Japanese text, and I am going to just translate that for you guys really quickly so we can kind of see it here. And if I scroll, it does go away. So we have Ultra Rumble business wish or business application number. Filing date, April 20th, 28th. Uh, date to first file right, and then release date, May 25th. I guess that's when they uh, released the application on here or something like that so address whereabouts minado ku tokyo uh na applicant name is bandai namco uh legal distinction 20 2011 law uh, 11th edition number of divisions two and here we go we have the the trademark stuff here as well so let me actually take this and we can kind of uh translate this really quickly so this would be the class nine categories which has a lot of things in here like it's it's super long for class nine so let's kind of just take a look at it swimming earplugs diving earplugs which obviously not the case drawing or design machinery no uh then we have gas leak alarm theft alarm security helmet commercial video game machine program there we go that is most likely why it has the class of class nine classification right so there is that and let's just take a look and see if there any, is anything else in here 
uh, underwater hearing equipment. It's a lot of di old, uh, a lot of equipment stuff and computer programs. It could fall under computer programs or computer software. Uh, yeah, here we go. Programs for home video game machines. Oh, I guess that yeah, programs. So I guess that could be that could also be one as well. Uh, then we have weight belts, air tanks, CD wrong storing, automatic forge programs, electronic. Uh, and then using, wait, so here we go. Music files that can be received and stored using the internet, using internet lar image files that can be received and stored, recording video, disc, video tapes, electronic publications. It could be that as well. Could be a, a multitude of different things that are actually in this. So I think the electronic publications definitely, I think this part here, I mean, I, again, take this with a grain of salt, using the internet image files that can be received and stored. Obviously that's kind of what most of these games are. You're receiving like PNG files and stuff like that. And you're summoning for them. And also music and stuff like that over the internet. That's kind of, that could probably be why as well that it has the class nine classification. And then also, you know, uh, computer programs, computer software, whatever. Uh, and then let's see. And then what was the other one that I th thought it was? It would be, uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh yeah. Commercial video game machine program. Something that either that, uh, mobile information terminals, maybe I don't think, I don't think that would be it. I don't know, it's very, very techie techie type of talk here. And uh, I don't, I, again, there's a lot of different things in here that it could be a lot of things that it definitely is not. I mean, seismic probe underwater hearing machine definitely isn't what those are. But yeah, that is pretty much why it most likely has the class nine classification. It's, kind of, it's like the computer programs and all that kind of stuff, right? Then we have class 41, which take a look at this as well. Let's take a look at what class 41 does. Uh, so teaching arts, sports, and knowledge planning. No, 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 no. Wouldn't be that. So planning or management of entertainment, maybe. Provision of images using the internet, definitely. Could be something like that. Entertainment, definitely. Education, culture, entertainment, sports, video production, broadcast programs. Definitely could be something in here uh, related to that. Definitely entertainment, it could be. A provision of music using the internet, yes, could definitely be that. Uh, provision of sound or video, maybe. Uh... It could be, a, again, it could be a few of these things in here, but obviously it's not every, it's not saying it's all of this. It's not definitely saying it's all of this. It's definitely like, it. they have to choose a specific classification for the trademark to kind of, you know, categorize in what it actually is. So definitely could be, you know, a few of these things in this one, but this is most likely the correct classification for Ultra Rumble here. And again, Ultra Rumble, it sounds very weird, but we also have the My Hero Academia Ultra Impact trademark as well. I did go look this up, took me a minute to find it, but I do have the Ultra Impact uh, class, the Ultra Impact like classifications and stuff like that for the game itself for its trademark, if we take a look at here. Also is from Bandai Namco in same location as the Ultra Rumble one, so Minato Tokyo. It has the same legal distinction, same international classification, same divisions. It has nine and 41 classes on here. So it definitely is identical in terms of its legal classification and everything like that. It has all of the similarities that this one does have for ultra impact. So, you know, comparing them, I mean, there could be a multiple of reasons why they are similar, but you know, ultra impact, impact, ultra impact, trademark for search. And then we have all of this stuff. This is different because this is actually already released. And then this is when its expiration date is when it's yeah. So it has two different expiration dates. Either way, uh, this is just for like the filing purposes. This wouldn't be the same if they just filed this or just put this in the system. That's mostly that's the reason why this one's already there because this one already is out. This one's already available to play on the Japanese version. So that's why Ultra Impact is there. But Ultra Rumble, if this is the global version, it is very, the trademarks are identical to each other. Ultra Impact's trademark is identical to Ultra Rumble's trademark. So definitely, definitely, definitely could be the new name of the Japanese version for My Hero Academia Ultra Impact. Again, I don't know if it is. So again, take it with a slight grain of salt. It could be something different. It could be something else. But looking at the trademarks, looking at their classifications, looking at everything that they are similar between each other, it is most likely seeming that Ultra Rumble is going to be the global name for My Hero Academia Ultra Impact. So My Hero Academia Ultra Rumble is going to be coming. And let's see here. So I did tweet this out a while back when the game did release for My Hero Academia Ultra Impact. The global version will be coming. It's not a matter of when. It's not a matter of if a global version is coming. It's a matter of when the global version is going to come because the global version or the JP version, actually the JP version has 
English assets in its APK files. As you can see that I tweeted this out, it has the missions, dispatch, gear shop, gifts, and everything like that. It has the English translated icons and has a different a few other different English translated assets in it. I'm not going to show every single one obviously, but there is a bunch of English translated assets in the APK of My Hero Academia Ultra Impact, which is the JP version. So again, it's not a matter of if a global version is coming because they definitely have put a lot of time and the money and resources into developing the English assets for the game for it to potentially get a global version at some point. It's a matter of if not when. If it's a matter of when, not if I missed them mm, mixing myself up. It's a matter of when, not if a global version is going to be coming. And again, the APK files, the English translated assets was a major indication that the global version is in the works. And now we have this trademark. It could be a definite more indication of that a global version is going to come and potentially also with a brand new name called Ultra Rumble. So there is that. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments down below. What do you guys think of the Ultra Rumble name? Do you like this one? Do you like Ultra Impact more? Personally, I like Ultra Impact more. Let me know down in the comments down below. If you made it this far, hashtag Ultra Rumble in the comments down below. Do you think this is the global trademark for Ultra Impact? Let me know down in the comments. Again, this isn't 100% confirmation at all. Just take it with a little bit of grain of salt because again this could mean something completely different but all signs from this trademark looking at the ultra impact trademark knowing that we have english translated assets and everything like that and it also is by bandai there is the probability that the ultra rumble is the case of the global version of my hero academia ultra impact so again let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comments down below thank you guys so much for watching if you guys did enjoy subscribe to the channel if you guys are new click that bell turn on all notifications drop a like here on today's video and i'll see you guys in the next one have a fantastic day